Thank you, Peter. Continuing coverage tonight in northwest Florida, two roads are still closed for Hurricane Nate, and there's no word on when they will open. News 5's Bryant Clerkley is live on Pensacola Beach. Bryant, which roads are closed? I'm standing at one of them right now. It's Highway 399, and the other one is Fort Pickens. And as you can see, sand is still covering the road, and officials say if you go even farther down there, it can reach up to three feet. Fort Pickens is a scenic road people like to drive down and take pictures. But officials with the Gulf Islands National Seashore say it's closed until further notice. Connie Senak was just about to go take a look. We're here for our 50th class reunion, and, you know, we like to go around and see all of our childhood places. We used to picnic at this place right here when I was growing up, and so it's very disappointing. Officials say the road surface collapsed in some locations on both Highway 399 and Fort Pickens. They say an engineer has to assess the damage before they reopen. Alex Tran wanted to take a look. He's a tourist from Seattle. Kind of bummed out. It's like my first time here, and I might not get to come back for a while, so kind of bummed out. I guess I'm really disappointed. <laughs> Paul Edwards says he uses the Fort Pickens area every day and Highway 399 to cycle, but he's got to go a new route. I can go over the causeway onto uh, 98, and I can ride up 98, which is a little bit dangerous. Um, the, uh, the drivers aren't always observant of us poor cyclists. So yeah, I do feel a little bit enclosed by the fact that I can't use these roads now. Now, officials say it could be this time next week before they have a timeline on when these roads will open again. Live in Escambia County, I'm Brian Clerkley, News 5.